Hello everybody and welcome to Battletech with the mod extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining again. We're going to run another contract. Well, a contract on Argyle. It's our first one actually. And um, to prevent our mechs from getting beat up on the first day, we're going to do the easy thing. The Stubborn Surrender. Many years ago, we fought a lengthy conflict with the locals here on Argyle. Recently, however, news has trickled in from a remote region of the planet, enemy forces harrying regional transport. So they're very old mechs and colors from conflict long ago. So old mech warriors means they probably got some experience, some levels, um, but they're in mechs that are poorly maintained. So there might be some good stuff here. And we're not dying for money. We have pretty good funds right now. C bills, I call them credit, but uh, you get the idea. We're okay. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go for two pieces um, instead of just one. Now this shouldn't be a very hard conflict. Lowlands tends to have a lot of trees. Let's see, trees, marshland uh, offers increased stability. Rolling hills, gentle steps, okay. So I don't think we need to go in so heavy uh, this time around. We always tend to take the brawler with us. We're gonna uh, not change that fact. I think we might take the blackjack this time around. And, um, I'm thinking either the crab or the catapult. Um, hmm. Let's take the catapult. We haven't taken the catapult for a little while. Uh, we're not going to take the kid. We're going to drop off Herringbone. Moped can stay there. Obsidian likes the catapult. We'll go ahead and put him in there. And we'll put King Wolf into the Thunderbolt. The Blackjack is also going to have some heat trouble. Um, hmm. Maybe we could put Fireball in. I don't want to use up all of the same people here. We've got two of the people that are pretty much the same. So I guess we could do Steel Jaw. Steel Jaw um, has a little bit better ability to move and fire, which I don't think it really needs. Warbore, maybe? We'll use Warbore. Why not? Go a little bit earlier in the round. The Blackjack hits pretty hard. Two AC2s and then three of the medium lasers. He can split his shots up. I don't think he's going to use his sensor lock, but he probably can stick and move with the tactical shot there. Command interface initiated. Shouldn't be too hard. I think I just stepped in some. Uh, shit. <laughs> Heading out. Already making contact. Yeah, it's a straight up battle. There's a little town in the middle here. Kind of liked our snipers hanging in the back. Brawler's going to run up on them. 100%. A hunchback. The, the 4G version is the one with the um, AC-20, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Ready for orders. It's probably a pretty easy choice there. Uh, he is in cover though. Let's go ahead and uh, reserve. Get him a little bit closer if he's going to close in. Oh, a shadow hawk just came over the hill. Yeah, we'll reserve. See if we can get that hunchback to move. No, he's gonna chase us down the line here. It's okay. He's reserving. Um, What's up, boss? Well, our Thunderbolt can close in now. We'll, we'll get him a little bit closer here. Give him something to shoot at. Uh, let's fire in the Shadow Hawk. He's out in the open. Ooh. Good hit on the arm. Standing by. 
Acknowledged. Warbor will probably just fire off his AC twos at the uh, Shadowhawk there. Acknowledged. We knocked his arm off. Something good. Well, he's not that much of a threat anymore. <laughs> he just took off one of his weapons. There we go. That's what we wanted. Close in. Yeah. Can't quite get up to him. We can get close enough to start hitting him. Good head injury. And Obsidian is going to open fire. We're gonna go. Oh, we can't. We don't have enough morale there. All right. Well, 35 LRMs at this guy. Let's hit him hard. That'll give him something to think about. Assassins are, you know, light max, but they can actually be quite dangerous. If they they're very mobile and they get into that position, you know, behind. What do you need? We're gonna punch him right in the face here. Copy that. Putting my weight into it. Right, torso, there goes his AC twenty. He's crippled. He's only got a small and medium laser now. Uh, the blackjack is going to be happy just to hang back, shift around a little bit. Well, we can divide up these shots, I think. No reason to put the AC2s on this messed up hunchback, but our lasers can still fire. Engaging multiple targets. Get it on. Actually, got a side shot right here. I think we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with this. Uh, let's split up our shots here. Check out the upper part of the hill there too. No, I think everything else is just going to go on the hunchback. We're going to knock it over, maybe even kill it, and we'll fire in the shadow hawk. Fire. AC5 crit. Good. We've taken out two major weapons at this point. He should fall down. Ooh, ammo explosion. Target's taking a critical hit. Head injury as well. That's the second head injury he's had. Incapacitated. When he woke up in the morning, didn't probably think that he would get wrecked his with his hunchback. He's like, I'm gonna shoot somebody with this AC20 didn't happen. Of course we're gonna fire everything at the Shadowhog. Look at that, he's all opened up and that's exactly what we're looking for. That's what we wanted, ammo, crits, explosions. And yeah, he's out of there. He didn't have much left of that mech anyway. Good call. A trebuchet. We lost our arm mod. Is it gone? It says it was destroyed. Standing by. Oh no. I think it was the, the weaker of the two. Confirmed. Well the brawler is just, you know, it's a matter of time. We're still hit like a truck though. Right torso gone. Driving into the center of this mech. Fire in the trebuchet. Giving them everything I've got. Not the greatest accuracy there, but we'll take it. Thunderbolt taking some tanking hits like he's supposed to. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Everything on the trebuchet. We need to take those. Oh, it doesn't have. 
Wow, that's a different kind of trebuchet, the TBT-5S, which only has two SRM-6s and not all the uh, long-range stuff. Interesting. Interesting choice for a mech. And Catapult is going to just wreck this thing. He's on unstable ground. He's going to go down. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Oh, he's just unsteady. Okay, well, he's got to get the unsteady thing first, I think. I thought that would take him down anyway. Aye, aye. Moped's going to punch this guy right in the back. Roger. Ah. Ripped it in half. And... For good measure, we're going to shoot the pilot in his mech as it's laying on the ground, incapacitated. Commander. Coordinates received. He's unsteady too, so let's uh, open him up. Taking the shot. That didn't actually take out any of his interior. Ooh, he fell inside the rocks. <laughs> He's going to get right back up. Still got everything operational. Doesn't have any armor left. Oh, that... That's a good use of that mech, I guess. Run right up and fire. <laughs> Enemy mech destroyed. <laughs> Successful. Oh, you gotta love those catapults. Once, you know, you got holes in them, getting all those individual hits, you know. <laughs> Great for critting, detonating ammo. If you put crit bonus on those LRMs, then that's... They really complement the team. Oh, that armod is destroyed. That was our stability damage. Ouch. Nothing really good out of that, either. Um, we don't really need another Hunchback, but we'll take it. And uh, Shadowhawk, we don't really need. There's really not much else. That Trebuchet 5S uh, is a true beast at short range with SRM-6s instead of LRM-15s. An extra heat sink. Just, um, yeah, it's nice. I don't know that I would want it. We've got the, we've got that role kind of filled by our Wolverine, so we'll just take the Shadowhawk for the pieces. We got it anyway. It is a nice mech. I just uh, think that we don't need it. We have certain roles we need to fill. We don't really have any good light mechs except. The Brawler, and the Brawler is an epic light mech. But it is living on borrowed time just a little bit. Oh, we can, uh, which, uh, we have parts for the following variants. Hunchback 4G and 4P. Um, 4P. Uh, trace a single impact of the massive auto cannon for the lighter energy weapons. I do like that one too. Let's ready that. Uh, I don't know that we're going to use it right away. Uh, let's take a look. Base here. Oh, our poor fire starter. The brawler. Um, this guy is going to have all these medium lasers. Hugely powerful mech. If you can get these lasers upgraded, um, that's awesome. But I don't know that we're going to use him right now. We're going to put him down here as something for later. can't believe we lost that arm piece. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? Well, that took a uh, one ton off of our armor. Um, I guess we could put another medium laser mount. One more medium laser. I don't think an AC-2 is really uh, feasible for this mech design. An LRM, or a large laser is 5 tons, it's not feasible. 
we could, um, uh, I don't want to remove that gyro. That's all he is, is, is this kind of thing. So I think we're just going to mount another medium laser on him. Because we don't have any space for small lasers or anything like that. We use three MGs. And the only slot he's got available are the medium laser slots. So we're going to mount another medium laser. Okay, well, his uh, heat efficiency will drop a little bit. And we now have three medium lasers, which is kind of interesting. I'll let you know when that's Our brawler used to only run with one. <laughs> so, all right, he's out for a day. We're going to have to sit back and let him roll in. I guess we could probably run without him. It's unfortunate that he took such a big hit. Uh, you know, with these other skull missions. This is an ambush convoy. Uh, probably be able to do a straight up battle easy enough without him. But you know, he is such a versatile member of our team. I think we're just going to go ahead and pass the day. A single day just to get him back. That work order you submitted is complete. Yeah, there's not a whole lot available here. Hopefully when we go to the next system, uh, there'll be quite a bit more available. Kind of want to start to think about getting a hatchet man. With an arm, you know, move those arm mods over. I'm not sure if I would like to do that, but the hatchet man is, you know, geared towards melee. So having a mech that's geared towards melee is good. So we got to kind of watch for those pieces. All right, well, thanks for joining. It was an interesting little fight we had there. It just took off one of our weaker arm mods. That could have been our good one. And we don't see those very often. We buy them as soon as we see them, but we don't see them very often, so it's a good thing. Imagine how different this game would be without the brawler. All right, you guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.